Hi everybody, I'm just um, going through the process of selecting some pots for uh, the show at Rufford this weekend. I've only got a four foot by four foot shared stall, so uh, normally I take all these, but um, I can only get a few in, so I'm going to have to um, be quite selective, or deselective, I should say. I'll just give you a look at what we've got going. already decided a few that aren't going. <laughs> I don't quite like that one there. The uh, she knows running off and you can see underneath. It's got a bit of a sharp edge there so unfortunately that one's not going. <coughs> We've got uh, two bows here across the back. Nice flat bottle, that one's definitely going in. Got them all grouped in. Um, uh, surface effects. This is wood ash and nuka. These six. Uh, so I'll select one of those. These some more here. These have come out really well. These are from yesterday's firing. Um, it's the local clay chino, but it's it's gone over the, the this. This uh, blue nuka, this pale blue nuka. When it's gone over, it's come out a really nice green, so that's a double dip on that. So there'll be one of these, one of these three, one of that one, or that one, the big one, one of the, <coughs> excuse me, um, nuka glazed round ones. Uh, one of the little flasks, one of the red bowls, these are my favourites, that one I think is going to be the one that's picked out, that's the base of it, um, not sure about these two bottles, all of these bowls here are really nice. Um, We've got a thinner nuka glaze on, and that's quite nice. It's got quite a bit of a chun effect to it. The profile of that one's nice. This one is going to be the one I think because I really like the profile of that one. That one's. Uh, well, if you look at it, isn't it, there you go. So I think that's the one of those that's going in. These are the latest ones from from the um, firing that uh, the tea balls came out of. These are quite good. These are sort of my eager vases. That's pure wood ash that's run into there. That was fired on its back like that. There's the shell pattern on that one. It's quite a nice one. So I think this one is going to go in or possibly this one. I don't know. Might have to take a little bit of advice on that. They've only been out the kiln a couple of days yesterday and came out. So um, I've got to live with them a bit before I decide what's what. This one can't go in because you can see there it's stuck to the shelf and pulled a bit of the glaze off the front of it. Now it doesn't bother me but when people are coming to buy your stuff they tend to notice things like that. And we'll have one of these water jars over there, one tea caddy, and then one of these bottles, one of these uh, tea bowls here. This has got a really nice uh, sort of shimmery type of glaze on the front. This a chino over my clay and then these are uh, my clay body slipped and then splashed with um, the chino, thick chino glaze so that's it uh, on with the selection I think this making this video has actually helped me select what I wanted to do because I've had to tell you sort of 
honestly, in my mind with it, I've been lost, sat looking at them for at least an hour now. Changing my mind every two minutes, but uh, let me go with that selection. Okay, I'll let you know we get on.